Hi, once again we are here. Today we are going to show you how to make lasagna. But first, I would like you. To, I would like to show you how the, how to make this sauce. Although you could all always use this sauce, the ready-made sauce from the store, but it's much better if you could modify it. Now we are going to modify the sauce that you could get in the store into your own homemade sauce. We have the chopped onions, ground, ground beef, and we have these two uh, spaghetti sauce or any kind of sauce and I have the tomato paste and oregano. Finally, I have this uh, American cheese. Uh, six slices. In the beginning, you have to put the garlic. And it's, uh, you have to put the onion. Put the meat. until it's cooked then until it's brown and uh, tender before the the tomato, the spaghetti sauce. Another spaghetti sauce. And you could add it's like maybe one glass of water to the sauce. Cook it for at least maybe 30 or 45 minutes. Put some oregano. Then the, the uh, one small can of tomato paste, Sim simmer it a little bit, and then put the uh, the American cheese. You could slice it or tear it apart. Around, uh, maybe you could use you could uh, use at least six slices. Okay, leave it for a while until it's it's cooked. You could cover it, and this is the finished product. This is the finished product of the sauce that we make, and we we will we will assemble the uh, these ingredients and make it uh, a lasagna. We have ricotta cheese, mozzarella cheese, and the sauce that we make plus the. In, very important, the, the lasagna noodles, you have to boil it. Everybody knows how to boil it, like this. This is already boiled. First, we put the uh, sauce, layer it. Make sure that this is at the bottom. Just the sauce at the bottom, only the sauce. Then the next step is 
layer the noodles. Layer it in, 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 in the tree. Then put the sauce Put the ricotta cheese, especially at the side, put the ricotta cheese. This is, uh, the way we put it is like half, a, half an inch apart, but this will just, when it's cooked, this is going to blend. Then the, the uh, mozzarella cheese the mozzarella cheese we cut it this is the whole mozzarella cheese uh, we, we, we have we have to cut it then another another noodles another noodles Then the sauce, and spread the mozzarella cheese around especially at the side then the ricotta cheese nice and nice but well, anyway this will this will blend this will make be mixed while you, while you bake it okay some more sauce maybe okay so this is how it looks and then you put another noodles and until it reaches at the top but make sure that the top it's not the noodles it 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 has to be the sauce and mozzarella and the ricotta that will be the top and then the very important you have to cover it with foil cover it good real good cover it once real tight before you uh, you open it then another one at the side real tight Then another another one at the side. Real tight. And then this is ready to put in the oven. But make sure, very make sure that you have to add some more noodles until you reach the uh, until you reach the top. And oven for 350 degrees for one hour. But be very sure that this is shelled with foil. Now, let's go to the finished product. So, this is how it will look. Your finished product. You see, it will blend with all, all the uh, ingredients will, will blend together. Let's try it. It's all intact and
let's try mm. Mm. it's very good because of the sauce that we make it's a homemade sauce so it's different the homemade sauce is different than the just regular sauce that you could buy it in the store don't forget when you open it seal it with with a foil a little uh, tighter for one hour and then you have a good lasagna thank you so much try it you're gonna love it thank you very much